All right, this is receiving LoRa transmissions over 10 gigahertz. And I'm gonna start from it all working and then we'll disassemble it and see what the pieces are. So receive side is uh, off the shelf LNB, Starcom, twin LNB from Amazon. And uh, there are the specs. We're going, we've got a, a bias T here to power the LNB. We've got an attenuator because whenever you hook up to a, a spectrum analyzer, it's always a good idea to have an attenuator in line just in case. So oh, we've got the attenuator in here and inside the box, it will open up in a minute. It has the lower receiver. Uh, it's a Hope RF board uh, at the 433 band and uh, an Arduino Nano. Uh, over on the transmit side, uh, again, a magic black box, but um, in, we'll open that up too. Inside the box is the mixer and another matching uh, 433 band uh, LoRa transmitter with an Arduino Nano. I'm um, using a, a 2.4 gigahertz stub antenna for my 10 gigahertz antenna because I don't have a 10 gig antenna, but for the setup, it's working fine. Uh, feeding the mixer, I've got a signal generator that only goes up to six gig, but I've got a frequency doubler here. Um, also inside the box, you'll see that there's a couple bandpass filters uh, or high pass filters to filter out. First of all, to filter out the uh, the lower harmonics of of this of the once you multiply, and then also an attempt to get rid of some of the IF bleed through I was getting, and I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, yeah, so the basic function, we can, we will clear the screen here. Actually, first what I'm gonna do is we'll turn off the, we'll turn off the local oscillator. So uh, turning off the local oscillator, I'm gonna clear the screen. And we'll wait a few seconds and we're not getting anything, so that's good. I'm gonna turn the local oscillator back on. And we start getting stuff again. So, another test is as we're receiving stuff, I'm gonna unplug the LNB. So LNB is unplugged, clear the screen. getting anything. So that's good. Plug it back in. We, there we go. We're getting stuff. So one of the big problems I was having uh, bench testing here was bleed through of the IF um, from the transmitter to the receiver uh, and I was picking up signal that definitely wasn't coming across on 10 gig. So a couple things that did to take care of that. Um, one was so that the transmitter here is running at 433 megahertz. And I tuned the local oscillator such that uh, on the receive side, it actually shows up at 437 megahertz. And I set my receiver to be 437. We'll take a look at that in a sec. Uh, I'm gonna disassemble some things and start back up again. Okay, now I've got the spectrum analyzer in line and Here's our spectrum up here. And we can see there's our, there's our LoRa signal. So first thing we'll do, let's make sure that I unplug the LNB and we'll watch. And we'll keep watching. And there's no signal, that's good. Plug the LNB back in. And there we go. And so uh, you can see we're center frequency, 437 megahertz. So next step, let's turn off the LO. Go back as we expect. There's nothing there. Turn the LO back on.
and there we go. Now what we're going to do is we'll detune it to prove that we're actually doing this right. So we're, that's where I got it tuned to be 437. So let's change that to just something a little bit bigger. You see we moved off. We'll make it a little bit bigger to make it more dramatic. So now we're off center, put it back. There we go. So pretty satisfied that we're actually up converting, down converting uh, as we expect. Okay, I'll take apart the boxes and you can see what's inside. Okay, starting with the transmitter box. It's a more interesting one. Um, one thing I did find part of my leakage problems is to make sure I used uh, USB cables with ferrites on them so they didn't look like antennas. So here we go. We've got the Arduino Nano. This is an Adafruit uh, Laura board on the 70 centimeter band. I've converted my Nano and the Adafruit board to both be 3.3 volts. Uh, it was part of another project, but that's why they say three volts on them. All right, anyway, we've got the Aronia uh, signal generator. It's generating half the local oscillator frequency. We go into a mini circuits multiplier. Then we go into a high pass filter. We go into a mini circuits mixer on the LO side. The LoRa board feeds in on the IF side have another high pass filter, and then my stubby antenna. On the receive side, again, I've got a USB cable with a ferrite on it. And this is just a clone of the other board. It's just a Nano and the, our, the Adafruit LoRa receiver, transceiver, and a cable. So that's pretty much it. Uh, again, just using uh, off the shelf LoRa transceiver boards as IF transmitter receivers, and uh, again, some off-the-shelf, off-the-shelf LNB, and a uh, couple parts for mini circuits, and you can be on LoRa at 10 gigahertz.